breakfast this morning is going to be five points. So I have two eggs that I did in a pan. And then I've got my hard shell tostadas. And I'm just going to put the egg right on top. Now, if you wanted, sometimes on the weekends, or if I'm going to have a heavier point morning, I will add one thing of mini holy guacamole on the side, and that is really good too. But this morning, I'm going to do five points. And by the way, this is Ortega Zero Point Hot Sauce. How'd you do? Well, yesterday I was down five. Yeah. I'm sorry, down three. This morning, I'm up five. And it has to be because of the cookies. Well, how many cookies did you eat? I didn't have that many, though. I only had four. Were they big? Well, the ones from the place in St. Charles. They're huge. Yeah, but I'm huge, so... No, it doesn't work that way. Well, cookies shouldn't do much, but it, Jesus, it destroyed the whole momentum. Well, you were down nine. I know. So now you are you were down nine last and week. I went down three more. Yesterday. And then now today I'm up five. So this is what's going to happen. Three days from now, we'll have you weigh again. And I bet you, if you stay the course and don't do any of them cheat binges, you'll be back to down nine. Because you get that rebound when you overdo it, you get a rebound. You know how you said? Yeah, but we got to stop the silliness because if I don't lose the weight, it's going to kill me. Oh, I so, agree. I agree. All right. So I am going to see about lunch. And Kevin, what are you doing? Did you guys just see that? You know what? Really unbelievable. So I am sitting outside. By the way, see my new concrete? If you guys been watching my channel for a little while, you know when we got back from Florida, we dug all the concrete up around our house. Well, really it was asphalt and it, it looked bad and it was it would come off on your feet, you know, and then... It would ruin your flooring, and anyway, we redid all that. So now we have to do the landscaping because we had to rip a lot of stuff out, but at least I can sit out here, which I really like since it's such a gorgeous day today. Anyway, back to Kevin and his malarkey and shenanigans. Do you see what I deal with? He is only on a diet until he's hungry. That's it. When he's hungry, he's not on the diet anymore. And then, you know, of course, he gets his feelings hurt. And he doesn't want anybody to say anything. But he's only harming himself. And he doesn't feel good about himself. Just like, you know, I say that to him all the time. I'll say, like, if I blow a day, I'll tell him, like, he'll say, what's the matter with you? And I'll say, I just don't feel proud. And... I don't want to feel that way, so I know he feels the way that same way as well, but, you know, I mean, he went on a, a rampage this morning saying we shouldn't go anywhere where there's cookies and ice cream, and he's the one buying the Fig Newtons in bulk. You guys know what I mean. Ay, 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 I, I tell you. So, I wanted to update you. A lot of you guys have sent me DMs and asked how the uh, sleep apnea mask is going. So I I tried four and I'm ready to settle on, the fourth is I think gonna be the winner, I think. I think I'm gonna do the one that goes just over your nose. I call it my clown nose. Cause you know what? You're gonna cry if you don't laugh, right? So that's what I do. I say, well, I have when I go to bed, I have to put my clown nose on because that's what it looks like. But it, you know what, if it helps me, um, then I'm going to keep trying because, you know, it's kind of like with our diet. Some things you just have to do. And same thing with carrying weight. Like I've told you guys this before a bunch of times. I carry weight in the middle for me. Uh, and that's the worst place to carry it, you know, because then you get that visceral fat around 
your center. It's not good for your organs or any of that. So all of us, some there are some things that you just, you just have to do. You just have to suck it up and do it. And that is how I'm looking at this whole um, sleep apnea thing. Even though mine is mild, I don't want it to become anything else, you know, as I age and all of that. So anyway, wanted to update you on that. I am still drinking that menopause tea. So I think I told you guys this, or those of you on my Facebook group, and if you're not, I'd love to have you open invitation, come join WW Living Life on Track. We have, um, just so you guys know, I know there's a lot of people that watch me that are count calories or maybe they're not even sure if they want to be on a diet yet or they do keto. We have everybody on that group. So even though it's um, WW Living Life on Track, you are welcome. So anyway, um, I showed you guys on there that I've been drinking this menopause tea that a company sent me. And I don't want to review it until I'm done, you know, maybe drinking it for two, three weeks to see um, how I react to it. But so far, one thing that I've noticed is when I drink it, I'm a little bit calmer at night and I really need that so that I can fall asleep with the clown nose on. So that's been kind of good that, you know, the positive to it, really enormous positive is it hasn't bothered me at all. And a lot of times I'm very, very sensitive to tea blends. So I don't do a whole lot of that, really particular about it. For an afternoon snack, I'm going to have one of my favorites. So this is a half a cup of Greek non-fat yogurt topped with two tablespoons for one point of this sugar-free strawberry topping. This is different than the jelly. This is a little bit hard to find, but it's really, really good. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of Ready Whip. I didn't get the fat-free, so I have to kind of go lightly on that. I like the not fat free a lot better so it's actually a good thing that I have that because with the fat free sometimes I'll overdo it trying to get the taste I'm looking for so I'll just put a couple squirts in this and that'll be my three o'clock snack 